Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now we will be seeing about the flavors of selenium. We have already seen that uh, what selenium is is all about. What was the history of selenium? How selenium you know came out of picture and where it stands today? How it all all has been done? Not only this, selenium comes in various flavors. Now let's see all of them one by one. So the very first or the very basic one is selenium IDE. As I've already told you that, that uh, selenium provides you record and playback feature in which uh, you can you know just simply record a particular test case and then play it uh, you know as for your convenience you can even make a suit out of it and can run all the test cases one by one so this particular functionality of record and play is supported only in firefox and is termed as selenium ide the next version of selenium or the next flavor of selenium is selenium remote control or selenium rc as we call it now uh, we have we saw in the previous uh, video that RC was the was a very major component of selenium. Now what actually RC is? Basically RC acts as an interface between you and the browser. It's a it's a kind of a middleman operating between both of you. All the commands coming to the browser come actually through the RC and it helps in emulating the user action. So RC as the it is also known as selenium 1 basically a tool which allows the programming language into create complex test cases how you know you you make up a test case in a particular language and it places the uh, down or layer in between both of them and any test cases run on the browser actually come through the selenium rc after this the web driver web driver is the it i can we can call it as a breakthrough for selenium selenium web driver is a breakthrough because it is supported in multiple languages it can be controlled by you know by uh, different ways uh, it has it, it has an integration with different frameworks you can use JUnit with it you can use testng with it so basically web driver is a breakthrough that allows test scripts to communicate directly with the browser if uh, as you remember i told you in the rc there is a middleman sitting between the browser and the u but web driver is a breakthrough because it's acting and you know it's communicating with the browser directly it also gives an added advantage to us that it is faster as compared to the selenium rc now so if if i talk about for a normal example say i have to automate a test scenario where i'm using 10 manual testers how do i do it so for you know for having a uh, having you know testing done at parallel or testing being done at different machines for this particular instance we have a selenium grid basically it is based out of selenium only the only advantage is that it supports you know parallel test execution enabling you know enabling us to have a better efficiency as compared to the normal selenium web driver or rc so what is grid it is a tool you know which is used with rc to execute parallel test cases across different browsers and across different operating systems so this was all about selenium flavors of selenium we have we are we are also aware that you know we have a automation framework uh, which is known as qtp or uh, uft uh, which is a licensed or a commercial version available by hp now in the upcoming video we would be seeing you know how selenium stands with qtp